Welcome to the Magid section of the Seder, the epic tale of our roots, the story behind the story of Passover. How did we get to Egypt? How did we become slaves? What was it like? How did we survive? The text of the Haggadah offers us paragraphs and phrases and words that we can linger over for hours, searching for deep and hidden meanings. There's lots there to uncover. We toiled and we were tortured. We cried out in anguish, we called out in pain. The sheer pressure of being slaves was just too much to bear. And then a miracle occurred. The powerful outstretched arm of God reached out and delivered the slaves from Egypt, from one of the greatest civilizations oppressing our people, leaving that land ridden with plagues. We emerged and slowly had to find our way to becoming a nation in the wilderness. Every step of the way, looking back, we utter Dainu. Every step would have been enough. Now, you may be inspired to do lots of research to come up with the best way to tell the story. There are many Haggadot you can choose from, lots of websites to peruse, and of course, videos to watch. But there isn't one best way to tell this story because, in fact, every one of us has the opportunity to tell the story, not just the opportunity, but the obligation. Because the story ends with the phrase that every one of us is obligated to see ourselves as if we were there in the flesh, in person. And so looking back, we don't just want to tell the Magid, we want to be the Magid, to be the storyteller. You are the Magid, I am the Magid, your cousin Sheila, your neighbor Joe, that stranger you smiled at over matzah in the supermarket. If you're seven or 70, you have a story to tell this Passover. There are lots of symbols on the table just waiting to suggest ideas for how to tell our stories. Like the matzah, are we feeling broken or are we feeling whole? Like the bitter herbs and the wine, what are the sources of bitterness and sweetness in our lives? How do we make sense of it all? And how do we hold all of the emotions of our lifetimes? See, what's special about this night, amongst all other nights, is we aren't just sitting around casually asking, how is your day? We ask each other, how has your life been so far? What have you overcome? How have you succeeded? What are you grateful for? What are you determined to do next? These are the stories of resilience that build us and strengthen us as humans, that give us pathways forward where we're not sure where to turn or what to do next. We rely on each other to learn from each other's stories. And these are the stories we get to tell on this night. Because the story of Passover is a metaphor for all of us, emerging for what was difficult and finding a new reality in the world that's unfolding before us. So here's a fifth question for this night of all nights. On this night, this special distinct night, what's the story? The story of overcoming, the story of determination, the story of gratitude. What's the story of becoming that you're going to tell?